Hello everybody, this is Christy Marie Gott. I'm going to take you on a brief tour of the WordPress.org dashboard. After you have installed WordPress.org at your host, you can reach the dashboard by typing in the name of your website, followed by forward slash WP dash admin. We're looking at the DaVinciInternetMarketing.com content management system or blog that I have on WordPress.org. As you can see down the left hand side, there are a variety of links you can click on in order to do things in your dashboard. Now the first thing you'll see uh, will be updates when there is an update waiting for WordPress.org, as there is now, you'll see a number one. You can click and then follow the steps to install the update. Down here it says Posts. This is where you'll click in order to add a new article that you will post on the front end of your website, which will appear on the internet. As you can see, there are a variety of posts listed right here, and I'm going to click Add New. This is where you would type the title of your new post, and down here you would put your multimedia, such as photos or videos, and you would put your text. As you can see, this uses Windows type icons, so if you're familiar with using Microsoft Word, you'll get along pretty easily with this. Now, there's media, and that's where you can upload media. Here's links on the left. You can add links that will go on the front of your website under the part that's called a blog roll. These are links to other sites that you think your visitors might find to be useful. If you want to add a new one, you click on Add New. Here you would put the name, the web address, and a description of that link. Next I'm going to click on Pages. Now, WordPress started out as a blog, meaning a journal with articles that had dates on the articles. And now it's known as a content management system because it also has web pages. I'm going to just click on the name of my website up here. We'll go look at the front end. Now as you can see there are labels in this black bar and if I click on one of them it goes to a page. And this is a little bit like the tabs at the top of a standard website. Now when you want to add a page, you click here for Add New. And this is like making a, an article to post the way you would under Posts over here. Put a title and then put your content down here. Now con comments show up and it says To. This is a very new website that I'm doing, so we only have two comments right now. We only have two comments that have been okayed. Now, here's Appearance, and this is where you can go to Themes. I'll click on Themes. That's where you can choose a theme for your blog. And Widgets. Widgets are little pieces of code that enable people to do things on your blog. Menus, background. This is where you can upload a background that your blog, it'll look like your blog is sitting on top of a background. Header. This is where you can go to browse and upload a new custom header. Here are the plugins. Plugins, again, are little pieces of code that you add to your blog. Later, I'll do 
another video that will go into greater detail on each one of these choices that you have. This is just an overall view of the dashboard. And down here under Tools, you've got Import and Export. In case you are going to export your blog to a different host, and under Settings, General, I'll show you, this is where you put your site title. I've got DaVinci Internet Marketing, Niches, and we'll scroll over, Keywords, SEO, How to Market Using WordPress, Facebook, Twitter, etc. And then a tagline. This is where you can type in an additional explanation about your blog. And when you're done, you click Save Changes. This concludes my brief tour of the content management system, WordPress.org. Thank you for visiting my video, and good luck with your WordPress.org blogs.